Okay guys, gonna do a real fast one here. I'm at Latour's Auto, working on a 1996 old school Cadillac, uh, what? SLS. SLS. And uh, the blower motor's not working. The customer replaced the blower motor assembly and it worked very briefly and then stopped. And uh, that's what I'm here to look at. So let me get you a shot at what this blower motor looks like. We'll go from there. So this one's a little different than what you would typically see. The blower motor is actually right there. Right, I'm connected to it. And uh, there is a module that sits on the back of the blower motor. So there is no resistor on this design. This is a pulse width modulated blower motor. And it's all done internally. There's actually a hole in the instrument uh, cluster or the climate control area where a blower resistor would live that uh, the customer decided to, I don't know, did he take that plate off or something, Pete? No, that's covered up with, see that plastic? To get to that uh, motor, you gotta take all that plastic off the cow. So He should have just cut around there. So he broke he cut the, the whole thing. He broke the plastic on top. That's what it looks like. Yeah. He shouldn't have did that. He should have just cut it off where yeah. the blower, they have a cutout right where the blower is. Yeah, gotcha. And you're supposed to just cut that out and change the blower motor. Okay. Well, he did the wrong thing. Gotcha. <laughs> so now he's gotta build a plate or something. Right. <laughs> All right, well, this is a real simple circuit, guys. The blower motor on this is pretty much hot all the time and uh, has a constant power, constant ground, and all the controls are done on the third wire. So you see the middle wire is our control, and we'll start with that one, and I'll show you the power and ground. Pete, can I get you to run through the blower settings for me? Okay, go ahead. So watch our average voltage is dropping because our pulse width is changing. I'm just using my old school Vantage here and it doesn't have a faster screen time that I can show you, but you can look at the signals and our, our on time is a lot less. Now go ahead and put the blower on high. Okay, put, it, put the blower on low. And as he's moving this, you see the uh, pulse width has changed, so our on time is a lot different, giving us a different average. And uh, go back um, to uh, progressively back to high. As he changes it, you can see that the average voltage is changing. So for those of you that are using a regular multimeter, that's what you're looking for. Uh, what that tells us guys is the uh, controls are there. The communication from the climate control panel out to here is fine. So the last thing is just to check the power and ground. Just doing some loaded circuit back probing tests. This is my power feed, 14.4. And then the ground, just moving the, the T-pin down the line here, guys. And there's my ground circuit voltage. Nothing wrong with my ground, nothing wrong with my feed, nothing wrong with the controls going to that. This is a faulty motor. I, I, where did he get it from, Pete? I thought I was down. I mean, he said it worked for, for, for a couple of seconds and shut off. Well, everything is fine externally. Um, he needs to put a motor in this, and that should be the whole assembly again. Yeah. So that's it, guys. Um, one last piece I can share with you is if you didn't, if you wanted to look at this signal, this is the uh, the middle wire again. If you want to look at this signal um, with a with a test light, you cannot because uh, it does not support the current flow. Um, can you, Pete? Can you reach over with the test light and touch on the? Hang on, I want to make sure we can see all that. Touch on the. Uh, on the T on the T pin for me, what you'll see is that signal is going to disappear. You see, signal is getting pulled to ground. Got to pull the test light away. So you cannot use a test light. You might be able to get away with using an LED type test light on this circuit, but 
Um, you know, just showing you different ways to check it, and you cannot check the computer's control to this blower motor with a test light. You need to use a voltmeter or you need to potentially use an incandescent light. But it's, that's it, pretty basic circuit. I didn't need a diagram. Uh, just looking at the design was all that we needed to do. Pulse width modulated blower motor. Power's good, ground's good, signal's good, motor's bad.